Hi, I'm Olivia Race, member of the AMGA instructor team. There are times in the mountains when you stumble upon an, an anchor that sets you up for a super fast, efficient anchor system using one large locking carabiner. These chains are really close together. So this allows me to use Petzl William carabiner, which is nice and pear-shaped. And this becomes my master point. I don't need to add slings to the equation, add a cordelette, equalize it, and do all of that. I have clipped in and I'm ready to go. I can use this to clip myself into. And then I can pull my rope up. Add my belay for my second, and we're ready to go. When my second climber arrives at the anchor, you can add another carabiner for their tie-in. You can see that this is a super easy anchor to build. It's gonna be very easy for my second climber to take apart and take with them as well. They're not gonna have to stow cord. It's not gonna be super common to bump into these, but when you do, it, you might as well take advantage of them. Carabiners are always gonna be the strongest when we're loading them directly along the spine. If we start to load them along three axes or four axes, that will weaken the carabiner. With a small carabiner, it's much easier to get into an unideal loading orientation. This is an example of bad. <laughs> it would be hard for us to load it in this way, but anytime we're loading across the carabiner, it's gonna radically weaken the carabiner. Here the carabiner is being loaded along the spine, along the proper axis in which it's in its strongest orientation. Another example of a carabiner being loaded in a somewhat inappropriate way, this is triaxle loading. You can see it's loading the nose out here and back here, which is gonna weaken the carabiner significantly. Another way that it could be loaded in inappropriately, just want to avoid anything that's being loaded out on the gate side of the carabiner. It's, you know, it's unlikely to actually break the carabiner, but we just want to try and apply the tools appropriately. This is a visual of a carabiner getting loaded in four axes, which is what makes it a lot weaker and we want to try and avoid in climbing.